I think um, I, th I think we agree in the sense that um, the word faith is a bit misleading, so to That's say. Right. But in the way that I perceive it, faith is, um, in a sense, a synonym, synonym for trust, right? Um, in the so, uh, what are you saying? Faith is synonymous to, with to, to trust, trust. I would yeah. say, uh, in the sense that I have faith in my wife that she's not going to cheat yeah, on that, me. That's a different context. But I have evidence for that faith. Yeah. She's been, you know, faithful faith, to trust me for years yeah, yeah, and yeah, so yeah. on. So would you say that the concept of faith would be quite similar to? No, no. Faith, in Islamically speaking, no. Uh, okay. Exactly. Faith in I mean, Arabic called al iman. Yeah, which is tasdiq. Tasdiq means that you believe. Right. You know, you, be, you believe has to be based upon knowledge and certainty. Yeah. That I'm, uh, when I say I believe, mean I know with certainty that Allah is a truth and Muhammad is a messenger of Allah and Islam is a truth. Okay, that's so what I mean. Faith in Islam. Like a grounding. That's it. But then we agreed that there are some supra rational things that we would just have to accept. They are not irrational, but they're supra rational, right? I, I, don't, I don't disagree with that. What do you mean by supra rational? Because I have to under this terminology. I have to because as a Muslim, I don't just accept any terminologies. I have to understand okay, what yeah, they yeah. define it in all. Because why? Yeah, yeah. I'm a Muslim. My criteria is the Quran and the prophetic yeah. tradition. Yeah. So if it goes in line with the Quran, the prophetic tradition, I will accept it. If it's not. What do you mean by supernatural? Super uh, super, rational, sorry. super rational. Sorry. What do you mean by super rational? Uh, I mean something that um, the nature of God, right? Yeah. I cannot know the nature of God. That's I can right. I only know what God has revealed to myself. That's right. To me, right? That's right. Sorry, English is not my first language, but uh, likewise, um, it's my third language. Um, so I'm. So God is super rational. I cannot know Him without Him revealing Himself to me. Yes, we cannot. I mean. Okay. So if you mean that, we cannot grasp and uh, comprehend. God in reality, in how he looks. Yeah, we, yeah, I agree with that. But we understand things like he's all knowing, the most merciful. Yeah, yeah. yeah no doubt. But I want to ask by you something. Revelation, no doubt. But even by, I don't need the revelation. Uh, by reasoning, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I want to ask okay. you also, yeah. you know, about uh, take you back to, yeah. as a Christian, you believe yeah. Jesus to be God? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You and I and all of us here, yeah. I believe, yeah. we believe God is perfect. Yes. Okay, he has no beginning, no end. Yes. He has a perfect knowledge. Mm. Yes? yes? He knows everything. Yeah. Tayyip? mean, okay? Tayyip in Arabic term, yeah? <laughs> so we say, for example, yeah. in the Quran, Allah said to Prophet Muhammad, Yes, Alunaka and his Oh, Muhammad, they ask about the day of judgment. Say, no one knows except Allah. Yeah? If Jesus is God, by default, all of us, we say God knows everything all the time. Does Jesus know everything all the time, if he's God? No. Does God know but everything all the time? But I have to explain why. Uh, Before that, does God know everything all the time? He does, yes. Is Jesus God? Um, I have to explain what I mean by Jesus is God first. Okay, explain. Okay. Um, what, well, she's I, Christian? Uh, yeah, no, a little bit like. Uh, she was... Uh, well, just, 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 just. Yeah, listen, I'm already a Christian, that's why. Yeah, I'm already a Christian, that's why. So the view is... <clears throat> Jesus is um, a human being who is hypostatically united to the Word of God. Okay, that's what I mean when I say Jesus is God. And as such, um, Jesus has two natures: he has a divine nature and a human nature. What do you mean by divine nature? Um, God. Yes. Okay. And the human nature. But when you and say the two natures yeah. are united in one person. Okay. That's what I mean. So, so let me just yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um, and so, I, uh, Jesus would, uh, as a, in his human nature, would experience everything that a human experiences. That includes, you know, being happy, being with friends, having yeah. a nice conversation, um, and uh, being sad. You know, praying yeah. as well, uh, and having limited knowledge. In his divine nature. He is the eternal word of God. So, is it, um, that would be the summary. Okay, that. divine nature means he's God, the creator of everything. He knows everything. Yes. He sees everything. Yes. His divine nature, is it the Father or other than the Father? His divine nature. His divine nature is um, this, what we call um, the second person of the Trinity. Is that the Father or other than the Father? That is um, the second person of the Trinity. Who, that, that is... Um, the that is, the is, Son. Let, let me say, so that is... Um, share has the same essence the divine essence so now we're going to the trinity but yeah so, no problem um, i know it's divine essence yeah. right and there are three persons and the claim yeah. is that the three persons are of the divine essence but they are different relationally i understand okay? that like you have the same essence as him you have human essence 
He has a human essence. He has a human, a human essence. You are three persons, but, but you share the same essence. Mm, well, not quite. There's an example I'm mentioning, no, by the way. But this is an imperfect analogy because we instantiate the human nature, but we are different instantiations of the human nature. No, no, I'm too generally speaking. You are flesh, body, blood, spirit, yeah. flesh, body, spirit, yeah. flesh, body, spirit. Yeah. Same essence. Yeah. S uh, his, uh, same essence, but uh, three persons, yeah? Yeah. Okay. What was your name? Sorry, sorry. Uh, Baha. Baha. Yeah. Silvio. Uh, nice to meet you. Sorry, feel free to... Uh, no, no, no problem. Uh, what we say to you now... Sorry, what was your name again? Uh, Shamsi, sorry. What's Silvio. your name? Silvio. 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 Uh, nice to meet you. This is my wife, Anka. Uh, nice to meet you, Anka. Yeah. Yeah. But what we say to you now, that's my question to you. Is Jesus the Father or other than the Father? Jesus. As, as a divine nature. Jesus is different relationally from the Father, the but Father. shares the divine essence. I understand that. Yeah. So now when Jesus said only the Father knows the hour, yeah. that's not Jesus. That is um, Jesus who, um, I'm not sure if you had a chance to uh, uh, look at the Bible, but the claim is that um, when he was incarnate, uh, God chose to uh, humble himself, um, stripping uh, and not having access to the divine knowledge in but his human nature. That's contradiction what you said earlier, because you said he was, he had divine nature and human nature, yeah. but you said he had to strip himself. If he stripped himself, he had no divine anymore. No, he did. So the, the claim is that the human nature could have limited knowledge. Here's an analogy. Um, he, okay, here's an analogy, but it's an analogy, right? We but do you, would you, don't, sorry, to Kaya, don't sorry, you think? Just this point. No, sorry, sorry. Don't, don't, out of respect, you, don't, don't you think that what you explaining that you can you can see your out of respect here? Yeah? You literally struggling to explain something which is no, you are because why? For example, now you said to me, yeah. he had Jesus. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Uh, he had human nature and a divine nature, yeah. but they were one. Yeah. They were hypostatically united. Yeah, united. They yeah. Were not one. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. But then before you told me, yeah. after what you told me, God humbled Himself by stripping okay. away His nature, his divine nature. No, if no, no, I, no, he didn't strip away his nature. So, he, um, he chose not to access the divine knowledge, if that makes sense. So he chose to, because it doesn't say, doesn't say that in the Bible. The divine nature of Jesus chose in Philipp, not to access the divine, the divine knowledge. So, he ex he, so, so the not, divine knowledge is in the cloud, if I could use this analogy, although yeah. it's an imperfect analogy, obviously, because we're talking about God, you know. Um, but the divine knowledge is in the cloud, right? He chose, out of humility, not to access the divine knowledge knowledge, making himself equal to us in his human nature. That's contradiction. You know why? Because, you know, it's like you telling me, out of humility, yeah. I'm going to tell you I don't know my name. That's not humility. That's not humbleness. This is nonsense. This is foolishness. If someone says, out of humbleness, you're going to ask me, what is your name? I say, out of humbleness, I don't know my name. Or out of humbleness, I'm becoming weak, even though you have so to understand. That, uh, one, one second, that, I have to yeah. break it down. Yeah, yeah. So when you look to uh, what you just said about Jesus and a God nature and a human nature, he chose not to exercise his God's nature. Yeah. No, 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 no. Not that. That's what you said. He, he chose, chose to not. He chose not to exercise. No, not his. exercise. Not to. I, I said he chose not to um, access uh, some of the uh, divine. What do you mean by knowledge? access? Divine knowledge. Yeah. What do you mean by oh, that? Excuse me. That's for God. What do you mean by that? It was always available to him. Yeah, but it's not out of him. It's part of him. Yes, but remember... What do you mean believe, access? We believe that there, is, um, that there are two natures, right? Which are united. That's the claim, right? Okay, did Jesus say that? He had two natures. Uh, Jesus... Um, uh, well, so, so the, Bible, the Bible reports Jesus as divine and also reports no, no, Jesus no, as No, not the whole man. Bible. Not Sorry. the whole Bible. That John more likely, even John, you can it's a contradiction. John in the Bible, uh, John says, Jesus said the Father is greater than, than I. I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When Jesus went back to his Father, which I completely agree. Yeah. When Jesus, Jesus, because the divine nature is greater than the human nature. And no, but you tell me Jesus had to, divine nature. But when I'm Jesus, really sorry, mate, I'm very sorry. Yeah, no problem, no problem. But you said Jesus had two nature when he was on the earth. He has divine nature. So if him and, and the Father are the same, he cannot be greater than him. Because when you said Jesus, when he was on the earth, he was God and uh, he was divine and, and human at the same time. So it's impossible for Jesus to say the Father is greater than I. What is possible, what is logical, what is logical yeah. is for Jesus to say the Father is greater than my other nature, but as a divine nature, we are the same. Yeah. But Jesus said clearly 
the father is greater than I. And another passage said, I'm going to my father and your father. So my God and your God. If, the, if Jesus had human nature and uh, divine nature, he is divine nature, he is God as well. Okay. But Jesus clearly always emphasized that the Father is God. The only true God is the Father, you see. So what are you doing? You have respect. You left the true teaching of Jesus. You are following your, the, the church father's explanation, the, which were heavily influenced by the Greek philosophy. You understand? Because all of these terms you're using about Jesus being na human nature, divine nature, all of that, Jesus never spoke like this at all. You understand? Jesus came clearly, O oh, here children of Israel, our God is one God. Also, brother, what I'll tell you, the Old Testament, yeah? The Old Testament be teaching the whole time there is only one God, yes? And Him, Him is singular, yeah? And have no one beside Him. G uh, uh, Jeremiah, Daniel, Abraham, okay? All of them, one God, one God. Yeah. And if anyone come to the Israelites, tell them, let us worship other than the God of Israel, you should stone him to death. Right. The, Isra the Israelites, all their life, they know God is one, okay? He's not three, okay? Then, according to Christians, Jesus come, according to you, they know there is three but in one. Then who comes after Prophet Muhammad? No, there's only one God. Logically speaking, yes. logically speaking, according to you, Christian, according to the Christian uh, uh, t teaching, Jesus opposed the Old Testament. But who goes in line with that Prophet Muhammad? Okay, does the Old Testament teach clearly, explicitly, there's Trinity? Clearly, explicitly? No. Okay. Does it, does it the Old Testament teach that God becomes, uh, in, the, in the Old Testament says, Book of Numbers, page 19, 23, he said, God is not a man that should change his mind. God is not a son of man. In Hosea, Hosea 9, 10 or 9, 11, it says, 9, 11, yeah? 9, 11, it says, uh, uh, God is not a man. Okay, I the Lord, not a man. Right. So that's why, you know, one of the Christian scholars said, who is a Unitarian, he said, to be honest, the Israelite, the Jewish people had, had proof from the Bible to the Old Testament to kill Jesus. Because all their life they've been taught in the Old Testament, God's not a man. Then Jesus claimed, according to you, he's God. Therefore, they have a proof because according to, it, to the uh, Old Testament, anyone that tells them to come worship God other than the God, other than the God of Israel, you should stone him to death. So what the Jewish were doing, they were following the Old Testament to stone Jesus. You cannot blame them. Okay. Uh, so let me comment on a few on a few things, uh, if that's okay. Yeah, the, the, remember the, 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 there were a lot of things. No, no, uh, all of them are talking about from the Old Testament proof to you, Jesus yeah. cannot be God. You know, likewise uh, 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 from the intellectual point of view. Okay, I think um, thinking about it, uh, based on our conversation, it seems to me that um, we come from different uh, revelations, or what we claim to be revelations, obviously, right? Um, because um, in what I said, right, um, that there are three um, uh, persons sharing the divine uh, essence and that Jesus um, has two natures, a divine nature and a human nature, there's no contradiction there. There is. I, I think we can agree on that. No, there is. I know you think there is. Not even intellectually there is. If I say to you... But what I I'm saying is... Sorry, sorry, let me just finish the point. All right, cool. Um, but what we're doing here, really, um, is at least an attempt, let's say, at theology, although it's probably philosophy theology. Um, but, uh, but you have to understand that um, we believe the, um, these claims. These are an attempt to explain uh, what we believe was revealed. So it seems to me that the fundamental difference for us uh, is what we believe is the revelation. Right? Yeah, you, you think uh, because, because I'm, I come um, from an Islamic perspective, that's yeah, what you think. Yeah. But I'm not. So I'll show you the Bible. That, uh, okay, but so, just a second. Um, so I, I can tell you for a fact, right? And we can also go in that direction that the yeah. Bible does claim um, Jesus to be God, um, but also claims human attributes of Jesus. I'm not negating. And so the explanation of uh, two natures. Um, is a rational uh, explanation for what for what is revealed. So, I think we agree that revelation comes first, right? Uh, we no, not we all the time. Not all the time. Hmm? Not all the time because you have firstly, like you said, no, we, we have do to agree on that in the sense that no, no, there's something okay. called sorry, there's something called universal knowledge. Yes, yes, yes. You know, it's universal knowledge. Universal knowledge, you and I. 
regardless <laughs> no 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 regardless regardless of who you are what is your belief yeah yeah there are certain things we know for example if someone said to me god is perfect all the time but god is imperfect at the same time yeah. i don't have to be a christian or muslim to know that doesn't make any sense Absolutely. okay so they, that's why one of the 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 the, the, the i think i dropped something i keep thinking dropping. Fine, i don't know anyway i think i dropped the the, the, the yeah, handle yeah, yeah. but anyway islamically speaking why we say islam uh, that's why islam is spreading around you know why because islam goes in line with our universal knowledge and those universal tools you want to use universal knowledge universal tools that being created by the creator because it's illogical, impossible that every human being possess those universal tools, except by way of we are created with it. I, I would say high five to that. So, we, we, yes. We, so, that so, we so we're coming now to it. Yeah. From that, yeah. that it's illogical, impossible, it's nonsensical to tell me that God become a baby. Ah, um, so no, the claim is not that. Well, actually, first let me say that I completely celebrate the fact that we uh, we agree on the previous point. So yes. Uh, we would say that um, we are made in the image and likeness of God. And okay. as a result, um, we um, have an, an innate sense of uh, morality, for instance, right? So um, anybody from any culture, generally speaking, would say that torturing babies is wrong. That's even right. Though, yeah. uh, if, even if you have no land or law to dictate that, right? So, so you um, say killing, killing babies and children for something they haven't done is wrong? For, for what, sorry? If someone kill a baby, for something he has not done, is that wrong? Well, killing a baby is always wrong. Killing a baby? Yeah. So uh, remember that, yeah? Because I'm going to show you something. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> good. Remember that, but I don't want to yeah, yeah. digress, but I will remind you with something. So, so I, I was just saying that I celebrate yeah. the fact that we, we have this thing in common. Uh, yeah, and we good. would explain it in, in this way, that we were made in the image of God. Yeah. As a result, uh, our, well, our, our soul, uh, our, we have a rational um, uh, part of us which is made in the image of God. As a result, uh, we have an innate sense of morality. So therefore, we can know the difference between basic moral truths. Uh, okay. So well, I, I, I'm very happy. That okay. We, we so what that. we say to you, what we say to you, Jesus before he became a baby, yeah, he was God. His his divine nature was always div divine nature. There but he was, was no not before or after. No. Uh, okay. Was he all the time baby? No. The claim is that. The claim is that. Um, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the claim is that he uh, that the word of God united himself to a human nature. That's no, the claim, okay? But I'm saying the word of God so, because remember, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, yeah. and the word is God. That's a, a John one one. Well, yeah. The, the word was God. No, no, the word is God as well. Or the word was God. Yeah. yeah. The, is, the word was God. Yeah. So the word is not just of course there's different between this word which is an attribute like my words my speech that's an attribute cannot exist independently that doesn't make any sense that a word uh, exists so like this walking is, again the claim is uh, sorry, right, sorry, sorry but so Jesus as a word of God you believe it the word was God 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 and God is not just a word God he has he possesses attribute of speaking he has he, has, he possesses attribute of knowledge I don't think God possesses attributes Okay is God ignorant no, 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 no. I, 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 I'm a follower. I, I believe in divine simplicity. Are you familiar with? Uh, with of course, philosophical of ideology, which was, uh, uh, which one of the, the, the earliest Christians was influenced by the Greek philosophy. Uh, no, no, no. Well, but, but the, in yeah, uh, Islamic thought, divine simplicity was promulgated in Islamic thought. No, no, we unguessed it because why? That doesn't make any sense because in reality. Huh? Excuse me, sir. We're against it. We are against it, yeah. Because in the reality, it. you don't worship nothing. But I've heard that um, there were Islamic scholars. Yeah, we won't, we won't against them. We call them Mu'tazilites. Mu'tazilites and the Jahmites, they were influenced by the Christians, we came before them, okay. and the Jews who were influenced in the reality by the Sibians in, 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 in Iraq okay. and the, 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 the Greek philosophers in the, the, the time of the Romans. Okay, okay. But what we say to you... I'm not just, very good at history. Yeah, I'll go back. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. What we go back to... Jesus, yeah. remember, yeah. before he became a man, he had to become a baby. Okay. Okay. So he was divine, he was God, yeah. and then he became a baby. No, God did not become anything. Who became a baby? Nobody became anything. The baby started to exist, was born. Okay. The claim is that God created a human nature, which, which then united to himself. That's okay, the which time? Because that's not true out of respect. In the Bible said, and the word became flesh. Yeah. Became, yeah. not united, yeah. became, tra yeah. transferred to flesh. That's yes? what we mean. When That's what I'm say, saying. So when we say God became man, we don't mean that God was converted into a human like ice melts and becomes water. We don't mean that. 
Rather, what we particularly mean is that uh, God united himself to a human nature. Yeah, which time? When, he was, when, when that baby was five months old, which time? Well, when the baby started to exist. So, you know, so God is smaller than the body of a baby because God was able to enter. The, because no man, nobody entered oh, anywhere. Oh, 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 the claim is the God. No, that's not a claim. Okay, that was the. Human I have respect for lie. Okay. God was a. There was a baby. Yeah. His name Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When Mary, she was caught carrying that baby. Yeah. Was that baby a man and a God at the same time? Yes. Are you a Christian? Yeah. Okay, well, he's saying yes. No, no, what I'm saying is, okay. Um, that doesn't make any sense, alhamdulillah, for Islam. The answer is that Jesus was God. But I have to tell you exactly what I mean by that, okay? What, when I say Jesus is God, yeah. I, I don't mean that God was converted into a man. No, no, before I'm asking I that, mean, I respect for that. I'm sorry. saying when Ma Mary, uh, yeah, yeah, the righteous woman, yeah. the truthful woman, she was carrying the baby that five months old. Yeah. Was yeah. that God and a man at the same time? Yes. He was a man united hypostatically to God. Yeah, you, you, but was that baby divine, which is God? The baby was a human, yes. But was he, he man and God at the same time? human nature... So he's saying yes. Is, the, is human, the, but, 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 but same the human time. nature so, so, was but, but, into but, union with God. No, 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 what I'm saying, what I'm saying, look, look, yeah. You, as two Christians, you are different with each other. No, because, we, okay, no, agree, okay, so, okay yeah. so I'm asking you, when she was carrying that baby, was that God and a human at the same time? Yes. Yes. So yes. it was God. So logically now, which God, God has given us, so, so, so a baby, God who is, in the, in, in, Jacob said, Oh God, yes. the temple, my temple cannot, yes. with, the, with the temple cannot hold you. That's true. Let this, let the, let alone the heavens and the earth. Yes. No, no, no. The temple. No, we agree on that. Let me. That's not the temple. Yeah, 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 let me finish. Yeah. Yeah, sure. The temple, my temple cannot contain you. Yes. Yes? yes. And of course, the baby, when it's five months, yes. is not bigger than the temple, is he? Yeah. 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 So if the temple cannot contain God, yes. how the baby body is able to contain God? Therefore, it's not no, 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 it's, 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 That's the mystery of Christianity. That's the mystery. Christianity. No, no, no. no wait, 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 let me finish. But I have to finish. Okay. I will explain. Okay. What we say to you, yeah? yeah? Look, the struggling that is happening now to describe the I'm most. Not struggling. No, no, I respect. Uh, the most simple thing which we have to Sorry. understand. Sorry. 